Well, this weekend, the Banning High School football alumni honored the legacy of legendary Pilots football coach Chris Ferragamo. He's the brother of Rams legend Vince Ferragamo, and he's impacted the lives of so many former players. I sat down with coach and his younger brother to reflect on the special man that is coach Chris Ferragamo. Enthusiasm is a force that creates momentum. What does that mean, Coach? It means that when you're tired in the last quarter, if you show enthusiasm, the other team's gonna say, how can they keep going? And you're more tired than they are. But you keep on going. Become enthusiastic, and that's the key. That was the key to our, our team. They kept on going the last quarter, and sometimes last quarter, but we won games. They were all enthusiastic. And I never swore at the guys, never ever. None of our ever coaches ever, ever swore. We don't swear, we, we, we taught football. What was it like to have Vince on your team? Oh. Your, your baby brother, 15 oh. years younger. He's coming in as a 10th grader. Joe Dominguez, my assistant coach, is, is a quarterback. So I talked to Joe and said, Joe, let Vince play quarterback, you play wide receiver, you'll make all city first team. <laughs> so he said, okay, fine, so Vince could throw the ball. There is 15 years between my brother and I, and uh, as a kid growing up, I didn't know him as a brother because he was never around the house. He went in the military and then went to the Marines, and, and then he came back to start his coaching career. And uh, so when I was a, a, a sophomore entering in high school, I first came to, to Banning, and of course Carson, and Gardena were the powerhouses in the Marine League. At the time, Banning was just a mediocre program. And so we, uh, uh, we got it started, and uh, the first year was a trying experience, but uh, you know, his, uh, his great influence really rubbed off on everybody. He had a personal interest in all the young kids, and uh, he took a, an interest in their families, he went, to their, went to their home, he helped out, helped kids who were were desperate and didn't have any, any food. And I was his younger brother, so I had to earn my way to become the starting quarterback. And I think when I did that, it was a reflection on everybody else. Hey, it happens to his own brother. We all have to earn our way. And uh, it was just the way it was. Jimmy, you just said to me, I, I owe this man a lot. I do. Why? Well, he gave us a direction. He gave us a vision. He always thought to look out, not for him, but for us, to look deep inside and see what we had. And he, he drew that out. Even if we didn't have it or we didn't know it, that it was inside of us, he kind of drew that out. And look what he drew out, greatness in a lot of people that throughout the years, it was, I always reflect back, yeah, I remember that, okay. You know, you fail, but you succeeded because you've learned to fail. Now do it right. That was him. When you when you come here, you know, and, and you, you come here once a week and you watch them. I watch them practice. Yeah. When you come here and you see your name on the sign to the field. I don't want you to look at the sign. I just look at the kids playing and I talk to the kids and stuff like that. But that's like got to that. make you feel good. Yeah. It's, 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 well, school helped me. I, I helped the school, and but I love what I did. It was just my passion. I got to tell you, I loved this interview with Coach Ferragamo. Um, you could tell by talking to so many people that were involved with the school and then actually people that reached out to me on social media after the fact saying, I had Coach Ferragamo as my biology teacher or I was on the football team and he was so, so great. And um, Teachers are special people and, and we know this and, and coaches are special people too. And you could just tell uh, the impact that he's made, not just at the school, but in that community is everlasting. So pretty special stuff there.